Hey, oh, I wanted to do a quick demonstration of a tool I wrote called Gron and show you some of the things it's capable of. So the idea of Gron is it takes some JSON and turns it into something that looks like this, a series of discrete assignments. Uh, and the reason for doing that is that it makes it much easier to grep and filter the uh, structure of the JSON to find what you're looking for. Gron's written in Go, which means it's actually really easy to install. It's a statically linked binary, so you can just go straight to github.com slash tomnomnom slash gron, go to the, the releases tab, download a release um, that's right for your operating system and your architecture. I'm running 64-bit Linux, so I'm going to copy the address for uh, gron-linux amd64.tgz. Uh, I'm going to go into the terminal, uh, and I'm going to go and fetch that tarball. Now it's downloaded, I'm going to extract it. And you can see it's just dumped a single file called gron into my current directory. For the sake of keeping things easy, I'm just going to move that binary straight into slash user slash bin. Now when I run gron dash dash help, I get some help output. So gron's got a few options, uh, and there's some exa examples of how to use it down the bottom. Um, and for the sake of making this easy, I'm going to use a JSON endpoint on json placeholder.tipico.com. So when I fetch this URL with curl, you can see I get quite a lot of JSON back. And JSON's a really useful format. Um, it's really easy to parse. Most languages have got features built into their standard library to let you parse it really easily but it's kind of difficult for humans to figure out if this is the value you want, where it exists in relation to the rest of that structure. So the idea of Gran is that it turns it into a series of assignments so that when you look at one particular value, you can see exactly where it exists within that document, JSON document. And that also means that if you wanted to say, for example, grep for the address part of these structures, you could do it really easily and get just the address parts back. Gron also has a reverse mode, um, which the help output refers to as ungronning. So dash u or dash dash ungron. Uh, can we can use that to take filtered output like this, pass it back into Gron, and turn it back into JSON again. And now we've got just the address sections. We can use other tools to strip out parts of the structure. So if we go back to our Gron output and say, actually, we want the latitude and the longitude parts of this structure to be one level higher. We, we don't want this intermediate geo object. So the first thing I would probably do there is use grep with dash V to invert the search and remove the geo equals line. OK, so that's gone. Now I need to deal with this dot geo part. And for the sake of simplicity, I'll just do that with set. So we want to substitute dot geo for nothing. Now those dot geo sections are gone. We can use gron dash u again and turn our structure back into JSON. And now the address objects have city, latitude, longitude, and street, but the latitude and longitude uh, values are no longer part of a discrete geo object. I hope you consider having a look at Gron. If you deal with JSON APIs that return very large responses and have pretty lackluster documentation. I think you'll find it pretty useful for figuring things out.